In this video, we will learn about the Kelly's coefficient of skewness and this is the last relative measure of skewness in our list. In the previous videos, we have discussed about the beta and gamma coefficient of skewness, the Carl Pearson's coefficient of skewness and Bowley's coefficient of skewness. We have also discussed why we are learning this relative measures of skewness because there is a problem with the absolute measures of skewness and that is in a distribution with a small variation or a large variation, the same amount of skewness will have different meanings and this will be a barrier to you to compare the skewness of distribution. Well, we proceed with Cayley's coefficient of skewness. Cayley's coefficient of skewness depends on percentiles and the percentile will be like this. This p suffix 90 is indicating 90th percentile minus p suffix 50 that is a 50th percentile. So 90th percentile minus 50th percentile minus 50th percentile minus 10th percentile divided by 90th percentile minus 10th percentile. And if you simplify this, then you will get this. Now, for those who do not have a clear idea what a percentile is, I will give you a demonstration. See, percentile of a number x in an ordered list of numbers is a number count less than that x in percentage form. That means you count the numbers or the items below x and you convert that count to a percentage form. Let's take an example. Here you see the numbers are in ordered list in ascending order and suppose our x is 14. That means we want to find out the percentile of 14. Now what it is asking us to do? Count the number of items or the numbers less than x. That means you count these numbers from 2 to 11 because these numbers are all lesser than 14. And if, if you count it, you will get 7. So 7 numbers are there that are less than 14. And this is the ordinal rank. That means 7 is the ordinal rank of the number just one rank below x. That means the 11 is below 14 and 11 is having 7 as rank. Right? Next, you have to convert this 7 to percentage form. So, it will be 70% because the total numbers are there it is 10 and you have counted here 7. So, 7 by 10 multiplied by 100 will give you 70%. So, how do you interpret this? 70% of the numbers in this whole list are lesser than 14. That means 14 is at the 70th percentile. So if you write according to this uh, uh, notations, then this will be p suffix 70 like this. Now this is an exception actually. Say these are the scores of the students and the full marks is 20. Now this student with the green one has scored 14. That means 14 out of 20. Now if you convert this to percentage, then it will be 70%, right? Now in this case, the percentage and the percentile both are same, right? But in the same scenario, when we go for calculating the percentile of this student who has scored 11, then you see what happens. Percentile will be 6 by 10 because there are 6 persons from here to here who have scored less than this student who has scored 11, right? So you convert this 6 to percent 
and it will give you 60%. That means the percentile of the student who has scored 11 is P60. While the percentage of the score out of 20 will give you 55%. Clear? Okay, we proceed. For a symmetrical distribution, this S suffix K will give you 0 because the criteria for a good relative measure of skewness says that for a symmetrical distribution, the measure should give you 0. For a positively skewed distribution, the measure should give a positive value. So here your measure is giving you a positive value. And for a negatively skewed where mean is less than mode and the figure will go like this, this measure will give you a negative value. So this measure qualifies to be a good relative measure of skewness. And the range will be like this. Your S suffix K will lie between minus 1 and plus 1. I hope it's clear to you Cayley's coefficient of skewness. In the next video, we'll give an introduction on courtesies.